Hi, this is Dr. Mark Hyman. Welcome back. Today we're going to talk about the questions that you have from reading the Ultra Simple Diet. I know uh, many of you have got great success already. I've been excited to read some of the postings on my blog. And for those of you who have some questions, I wanted to be able to answer these because it's important to know that, that, that there's changes from different people to different people and it's, there's just a lot of questions that come up. So I want to just take a few minutes to answer some of these questions. The first question I get is, is how do I know this program is different from all the other fad diets out there like the Zone or South Beach or Atkins? You know, well this one really helped me lose weight. This is fundamentally different because it addresses the underlying causes of disease and it's based on the same principles as ultra metabolism. It deals with inflammation and toxicity and helps you get to the root of the causes for weight gain. And it understands that food is not just calories, but it's information. It goes beyond the usual conventional notion of energy in, energy out, calories in, calories out. So, so I encourage you to, to just give it a try. This one will work because uh, it's based on good science. It's based on fundamentally sound principles that help you to improve your metabolism, control inflammation, and detoxify. Second question I get is, how do I incorporate this program into my busy schedule? Well, let me tell you, I'm busy. I travel all over the place. I, I'm, I'm working in many, many different areas in the country and even in the world. And I know it's difficult. But there are some simple things you can do to incorporate this into your schedule. The first thing is plan a little bit. You know, I plan ahead. I bring some nuts with me. I pack something in my car. I pack something if I'm going on a plane. I don't get stuck in an emergency situation. And I also uh, make sure I prepare things in advance. You know, I, I'm able to actually uh, cook lots of brown rice in advance or chop some vegetables or, or have some prepared fish or chicken that I can quickly heat up. And this allows me to, to really eat healthy throughout the, throughout the day, throughout my travels. And, and I've basically been able to stay and maintain the same weight and the same level of health uh, for the last 25 years, except for when I had chronic fatigue syndrome, I didn't gain weight, but I was very sick, but I, that's a whole other story. Now, how do I um, uh, stay on this when I eat out? Well, again, that's not that hard. I eat a lot, and I make sure that I, I choose on the menu things that are working with my metabolism. I eat salads, the greens, I ask for grilled fish or chicken, I ask for extra vegetables. Uh, it's, it's, it's very, very doable. You just have to think and plan. Now, now, another question I get is, how can I keep the weight off without denying myself all the pleasures of eating? Do I have to stop eating the foods that I really love, especially sugar, permanently? Well, this is not about deprivation. It's about finding out how to actually have pleasure from life. And it includes the pleasure of eating. Now, now if your favorite foods are deep-fried hamburgers, ring dings, yo yo yodels, uh, Coca-Cola, and McDonald's Big Macs, yeah, I think you're going to have to change your habits. But, but what I think people need to do is simply begin to learn to enjoy the riches of nature. The, all the wonderful foods that, that, that are put on the planet for us to enjoy, from animal products to, to plant vegetable, fruits, nuts, seeds. There's all sorts of ways to prepare foods that are delicious and healthy and, and good for you. Now, people also want to know if this program works for people who are older, who are 50, 60, 70, and should they be careful about anything. And I think, you know, you always should check with your doctor before you're embarking on any health program. But the reality is that whether you're 7 or 70, this can have a fundamental change through your, throughout your life by simply improving the information you're putting in your body in terms of nutrition. And it's really appropriate for everybody. Now, another question I get is, if I'm taking medications, should I be aware of reactions between my medicine and the supplements you recommend? Again, if you're taking medications, I encourage you to go meet with your doctor. But for the most part, you can easily take multivitamins with most medications and many of the other things that I recommend. Uh, now, now, some people say, well, what data do you have that proves that I'll really be able to keep the weight off if I follow the program? Well, let me tell you. I, I wrote a chapter in the textbook of functional medicine, and it describes all the dietary influences on health. It includes over 350 references. Uh, there is a treasure trove of research that shows the role of inflammation and toxins in weight. I've written a lot about this, so you might have to do a little homework, but I promise you that there's a tremendous amount of research that addresses the underlying causes of obesity and disease in the way that I frame them. And this is not really just my idea. This is based on an entirely new scientific paradigm called functional medicine, or, or, or really it's the clinical application of systems biology. So, so just realize that this is not just a, a quick fix, uh, fly-by-night idea. This is something that has been going on for, for
for decades in terms of research and understanding, and I'm simply trying to provide in a form that works for you. Now, uh, some people ask me about the cost of the foods. They say, this is really beyond my budget. What can I do to save money? And, and the first thing I'll say is that sometimes you either pay now or you pay later, right? So if you, if you eat calorie rich and nutrient poor food, first off, you have to eat a lot more food to get the same nutrients. And you're also going to be paying more in health care costs, medications, insurance premiums as you get sicker from eating poor quality food. But well, with that said, there are shortcuts you can take. I encourage people to buy in bulk, to go to food co-ops, to, to buy just whole real food, nuts, beans, seeds, whole grains, uh, fish, chicken. You can buy things that are inexpensive and health-giving that aren't going to cost you. In fact, some studies have shown that it's actually cheaper to eat healthy when you, when you take out all the other stuff you're eating. Breakfast. Some people say about breakfast. Why is it important and, and what should I eat? Well, breakfast is critically important because it sets the metabolism up for the whole day, and you should eat some form of protein for breakfast. I, I write a lot about this. If you want to read more, you can read Ultra Metabolism, and we'll chapter on this. Next question I get is, how do I eliminate allergies? Well, uh, it's, it's, it's essentially getting rid of the common foods that trigger inflammation in the body, and I talk about this a great deal in the book. Uh, also, people ask me, um, you know, I want to lose belly fat. Well, by simply following the ultra simple diet and ultra metabolism, you will lose belly fat automatically. Uh, some people ask me if I'm taking other supplements, how can I integrate the supplements you recommend? Well, I'd encourage you to really take a good look at your supplements and make sure that the quality is good, the manufacturing is good, and I, and I explain the guidelines of how to decide if you're on good quality supplements or not in ultra metabolism and in the ultra simple diet. But, but for the most part, you can integrate what I'm taking with, with things you're taking. People ask me, uh, why are bowel movements so important? Why are you talking about that? And what's the big deal about constipation? Well, it's very important because if you're constipated, you're not able to detoxify. And you're backing up toxins in your body. And you're going to feel sick, I promise you. So you have to make sure you go to the bathroom. People say, well, what if I don't like vegetables? Uh, I mean, what if I really don't like them? Well, for those of you who don't like vegetables, m mostly I believe that you haven't had fresh, good vegetables prepared well. So, so if that's true and you still don't like them, you're going to have to learn to like them because they're the source of all the health-giving nutrients that we have in our diet. Um, some people ask me, if, it's, if I'm a vegetarian, can I use your program? Absolutely. You don't have to have chicken or fish or any animal products. In fact, uh, I, I explain in the book, The Ultra Simple Diet, how to use uh, only a vegetarian program for achieving the same uh, process. Now, some people also said, I'm confused. You know, I, I purchased the book, Ultra Metabolism, and now I, I see the Ultra Simple Diet. What do I do first? I, I want to lose weight. What do I do? Well, I encourage people to try to start with the Ultra Simple Diet because it'll kickstart your Ultra Metabolism program, and then you can just go right into Ultra Metabolism. Also, people ask me, you know, I wonder if it's safe to replace the chicken and fish with tofu or anything else on the market. And I, I think it is, it is safe, certainly, to use other uh, beans or, or other legumes, tofu. Uh, other meat, I encourage people to stay off red meat, and I encourage people to, to not eat swordfish and tuna fish and large predatory fish. So you have to be careful. Um, another person asked me, I wonder about the ultra bath. You know, isn't the chlorine a problem? Well, it, it can be, and I encourage people to use a filter if, if they're going to be taking regular baths. Um, and and uh, uh, also, uh, people ask me about this ultra shake. You know, what is it? Well, <laughs> it's just a name I have for any type of protein shake. I've got three recipes in the book. It's not necessarily a prepackaged product, but it's something you can make yourself using whole real foods. Um, and and, and, uh, and uh, people also ask me about caffeine and other things. You know, I, I think the key take home here is that this is a, a, an experiment. I want people to try it. I want people for one week just to see how good they can feel. And not really believe me, but prove it to themselves. So, so I encourage you to keep submitting your questions, to, to try the program, and, and to really track your progress and see the results for yourself. So good luck, and I'll see you next week.